The topic of this tutorial is the software program Camtasia. The target audience for this tutorial is anyone who is interested in getting a basic knowledge of the screen capture software Camtasia. To access Camtasia, you can come to the Himmelfarb library and this program is available on select computers. For more information on availability, contact Tom Harrod at tph at gwu.edu. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to explain the function of Camtasia, employ Camtasia to do some basic screen captures and audio recordings, and create a viewable recording of your screen audio captures. Camtasia is a computer screen capture program that allows you to record lectures, presentations, websites, or any other program that you can view on your computer. You can also record an accompanying audio track to go along with your video captures. Camtasia also allows you to create different types of interactive elements, such as quizzes that report student responses back to the tutorial's creator via email. Now let's take a look at the Camtasia software. Here we see the main Camtasia Studio screen. There are no audio or video recordings here now, but as they are added, they will show up in the upper left in what is called the clip bin. They will also show up on the bottom as different tracks. These tracks can be mixed and matched and edited in a variety of ways. Here in the upper right hand corner, you will be able to see what your video tutorial looks like as it's being created. To record clips, click on the record the screen button in the upper left. This will open up the Camtasia recorder. You can then open up whatever program it is that you want to record and begin. For this tutorial, I'm going to record some PowerPoint slides. Here we see the PowerPoint slide that I'm going to be recording, as well as the controls for the Camtasia recorder in the upper right. After opening up my PowerPoint slide, I'll next hit the Camtasia recorder icon in the toolbar below. Doing this will open up the recorder controls. This allows me to go full screen or do a custom screen capture. I can also do a simultaneous webcam or audio track. When I'm ready to record, I'll press F9 to begin, and when I'm done recording, I'll press F10 to end. Once I have saved my recording, I will be returned to the Camtasia Studio screen. Here you can see that my recording shows up both in the clip bin and in the tracks below. These controls in the upper right allow me to play back the tracks below. Let's hit play and see what happens. This marker will move across the timeline to indicate what part of the tutorial is being viewed. To record an audio track using a microphone that I've plugged in the computer, I will click on the voice narration button, and when I'm ready, I will click Start Recording. After I've finished recording my audio clip, it will show up as a second track below. I can move the audio track up and down the timeline so that it properly syncs up with the video on track 1. When I publish this tutorial, both of these tracks will play at the same time. What I just finished showing you is a very simple Camtasia recording. There are a lot more advanced options and embeddable interactive components which I can show you if you make an appointment to see me one-on-one. -on -one. My contact information will be shown at the end of this tutorial. Next, let's take a look at how you would go about publishing your Camtasia recording. Before you publish, be sure to watch and listen to your recordings in the screen in the upper right. If you're not satisfied, you can continue to change, edit, and move around the tracks below until it's right. When you are ready to publish, click the Produce and Share button in the upper left. 
there are several different format options from which you can choose. I would suggest the screencast.com option as this allows you to have embeddable interactive elements in your tutorial. These elements are not supported in MP4 formats. To use this option, simply log in to the screencast.com website and create your free account. Let's take a quick look at the screencast.com website. Up here we can see the URL for the website, and over here you can see where you can create your own free account. Up here, I'll enter my login information since I've already created an account. On the next page, you see the different folders which contain my projects. Let's take a look at one of those. Here is each individual project that's been published, and over here on the right you can see the number of times that that project has been viewed. Over the course of this tutorial, we've looked at the basic functions of Camtasia, we've also done some basic screen captures and audio recordings, and looked at how to create a viewable recorded tutorial with these screen and audio captures. During this tutorial, we've looked at some very basic Camtasia techniques. To learn about more advanced techniques, such as interactive quizzes and other embeddable elements, please feel free to contact me to make an appointment.